Hello all, this is Mohammed Hanif, welcomes you once again on this lab session on digital signal processing. Today, we will be writing a program to generate a linear convolution in MATLAB and we will try to compare the results with function defined in MATLAB that is called CYNB. Okay, so let us start. So, starting with the same keywords. CLC, clear all, close all. To know the functionality of uh, these keywords, I request you to go through my previous videos. Okay, and then, so here, as we are about to generate a linear convolution, so linear convolution is done on two different sequences. So first, we have to read those two sequences. And then we have to proceed for further. Okay, so actually there are uh, two different uh, methods we can generate, or we can write a program for linear convolution. One is using the formulation, uh, formulation, uh, formula for linear convolution, and another one is using the MATLAB function, and that is a CYNB. Okay, so here in uh, this program, first we'll write a program according to the formula, and then We'll try to uh, compare the results of this program using our MATLAB function. Okay, so here first I'm writing one first sequence xn. So it will be input. Enter the first sequence. Okay, and then we must know the length of this sequence. So, writing L1 as length of Xn and then defining another sequence as Hn. So, same we have to, we can copy this and then instead of Xn, we will write Hn and then enter the second sequence and similarly we define l2 for the length of hn okay after this we know that after the convolution the output will consist of the uh, the number of elements will be an output will be is equals to m l1 plus l2 minus 1 so these many elements will be available in output variable. So I have defined for uh, in variable m. So this will be output or we can say length of output elements, output variable, right? And then we will define one variable for output, so say zn then and it is defined with zeros one comma with the length of m so here zeros means this is a function used in matlab to define zeros in that particular variable so here i have written zn and is assigned with zeros so it will be assigning one row with m columns of zeros in zn that means here if m if taken as 3 then 1 comma 3 means 3 zeros will be added or 3 zeros will be assigned to zn so here zeros are assigned to output variable okay so here we have written in 1 comma m means actually this first letter will be m rows and second letter will be representing n columns m is to n rows and columns okay and now before proceeding to the main program so sometimes usually we'll have a different lengths in uh, two different sequences so it they, they may not be uh, same oh, okay so first we have to do some zero padding to the sequences so i am defining take x and one So, 
we will be writing xn1 and it will be assigned with zeros how many zeros we have to add that depends on the length of hn so first we will write as it is xn and then followed by zeros as you can see that again we are we are writing zeros so here you can see that 0 1 comma m so here we will be writing 1 and how many zeros we have to add so already so l1 will be present in xn and we have to add these many zeros okay so l2 minus l1 so we write l2 minus 1 okay so these many zeros will be added for xn so this is zero padding to the first sequence similarly we have to add zeros per second zero, uh, second sequence also so copying this and pasting here say hn and changing xn to hn and here zeros will be added and how many zeros we have to add so as we have seen that hn will be having l2 length so we have to add this time l1 minus 1 so instead of l2 we will go with l1 okay and this will be our second sequence right now we have to write program by using formula so for that one we initiate for loop so for loop and I, you, we, we can see that how we can uh, initiate the for loop so first start with i and 1 colon m so i have already explained about this for loop in my last video so i request you to follow that video once again so here we have to be very careful with the indexes so as the index starts from 1 and there is no uh, zero index or even no negative indexes in, uh, available in MATLAB. So we have to be very careful with writing the index. So first I started with one and then we are uh, defining another for loop and which starts at J and starts at one and goes up to I. Okay. And now defining Zn. So Zn of I is equals to zn of i plus and according to the formula so xn1 of j will be multiplied with hn of 1 and the according to formula it will be i minus j so i minus j but as index started at plus 1 here yeah? So here we'll be adding plus one. Okay, that's it. Ending the first program for, for loop and ending second for loop. Now display Zn. So this will be our output. Okay, or you can say display output for linear convolution output e and then we say display zn okay so first and the result will be we can compare with our matlab function so that is cynv and it is very simple to write program so here it will need two uh, sequences so first sequence is xn and second sequence is hn that's it and this result will be compared with our this Zn. Okay. 
let's run this program to run the program we know that either we can go we click on f5 or we can click on this button so it is asking to enter the first sequence so entering the first sequence one two three four and second sequence alerts will give uh, less than this fourth element so we'll give three six and let's give it one negative value also eight the total four elements in a first sequence and three elements in second sequence so output elements will be available four plus three minus one that is seven minus one six so total the six elements must be available in our zn so entering it here you can see that the linear conversion output is 3 12 13 14 0 and 32 and this is generated due to cynb 3 12 13 14 0 and minus 32 so both are uh, compared and both are observed that both are equal so this is the one program i hope you have understand this and one more thing we can generate uh, in last program we have seen how we can uh, generate a two dimensional program a two dimensional diagram using a plot function here we'll try to use another uh, two dimensional uh, uh, function used to uh, plotting so that is a stem which is basically uh, it will uh, draw a two dimensional diagrams but this time it will uh, take a discretized values okay so as the linear convolution is having discrete values we can uh, draw it and that so so for that one we need one uh, sequence so let's we'll define one n n is equals to uh, starts from say zero and then so length of okay so length of or we can just say m is it m and we can write with respect to n we'll draw zn okay now one second i'm running this program so asking for the first sequence so here this time let's go with four elements and with one negative value and four elements or we can say five elements in second so four plus 5 9 minus 1 so totally 8 or variables must be available on zn x must be less so n 0 m okay here we can say n minus 1 so n is having Eight or okay. here nine elements, so we have to write m minus one. Now one second running this program. So sequence one two three four, and next one two three minus eight. So I am giving four four elements. So four plus four, uh, eight minus one seven elements. So here you can see that uh, both are the same, and because of using this stem. So this is the output now here you can see that the first output is here one and then second sequence around five then ten and then in between five to ten and then nearly one and then next minus value and another value is here so total one two three four five six and seven seven values And you can as it is, you can give labels for this uh, uh, diagram also, okay. But uh, this is uh, enough to understand this convolution program, okay. Now we have seen that how we can generate the linear convolution program using formula and using this program, okay. I hope you have understand this. Thank you and meet you in next video.